feature our top stories. Kawad Kalingat receives an enormous donation. Senators begin filing for the upcoming elections. The DLSD Orchestra goes to Guam. The Philippines puts a stop to the implementation of the controversial cybercrime law. The DLSD swimming team makes its mark in the UAAP tournament. I'm Joseph Carlo Herrera for Zoob News TV. The Philippines gets a much needed helping hand as Gawad Kalinga receives a 300 million peso donation. Here's Yela Carlos with the details. Gawad Kalinga, Philippines' leading volunteer organization, has received 300 million pesos from one of the largest corporations in Malaysia, the Burjaya Group. The donations will be used to construct new houses for the victims of the tropical storm Sendok. Berjaya Group's former chairman, Vincent Tan, states that housing is a basic need that should be guaranteed to everyone and that it will be giving Gawad Kalinga 100 million pesos every year for the next three years. The Malaysian conglomerate believes in the further business investment on the Philippines and its potential. Melotto states that this is a real bridge between countries. This is Yela Carlos reporting for Zub News TV. The upcoming senatorial race begins to heat up with several high-profile early filings for candidacy. Here's Audrey Villasenor with more on the story. Last October 5, the Commission on Elections, or COMELEC, officially closed the period for the filing of COCs, or Certificates of Candidacy. The week-long COC filing period ended peacefully, said COMELEC Chair Sixto Brillantes Jr., and he hopes that the 2013 campaign period will be as peaceful even with the existing political rivalries. Familiar names in politics like Florian Legarda, Francis Jesus Cudero, Rison Tiveros, Antonio Trianis IV, Cincho Villar, and Nancy Pinay would run aiming to be part of the Senate of the Philippines. There was a total of 84 Filipinos who filed their COCs for the senatorial race. Priantis also quoted that there was an increase in the number of senatorial candidates for the 2013 elections compared to the 2010 senatorial race. Comelec Resolution 9385 states that the campaign period for senators and partilist groups starts on February 12, and for the House of Representatives and local officials starts on March 29. The campaign period ends on May 11. The PICOS machines are being tested that is expected to be used for the 2013 midterm elections to be held on May 13, 2013. This is Audrey Villasenor reporting for Zoob News TV. The DLSD Orchestra takes their talent to the U.S. island of Guam. Here's the report from Yela Carlos. From October 2 to October 7, the Guam Interscholastic Performing Arts Festival will be held. Judith Juan Pat. A speaker from Guam has invited the DLZ Orchestra to play at this benefit concert on October 5 along with the Guam Territorial Band. It will take place at the Aurora Resort Hotel in the Tumon Bay area to showcase their talents, provide a cultural representation of Philippines, and to expose students to the international stage. The orchestra pieces they will play are the Phantom of the Opera, Mission Impossible, Para Isa and Mindanao sketches. This is Yala Carlos reporting for Zoob News TV. After being met by a storm of initial controversy, the cybercrime law finds itself in hot water. Here's Audrey Villasenor with more on the story. Six days after the implementation of Republic Act No. 10175 of the Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012, the Supreme Court issued a temporary restraining order that postponed the implementation of the said act for 120 days. 14 justices of the Supreme Court unanimously voted the temporary halt of the implementation of the law. The court is expected to pass the revisions that would settle the issues set forth by the controversial law on the given time frame. As of October 9, a total of 15 petitions were filed against the law questioning its legitimacy. The court is set to hear the oral arguments of the petitioners on January 15, 2013. This is Audrey Villasenor for Zoom News TV. DLSD takes pride in the success of its swimming team in the UAAP. Gino Derriet has more. DLSD finds itself diving in accolades after the swimming team bags a multitude of medals in the recent UAAP tournament. The junior tankers went home bagging the bronze in four various relay events 
scoring the silver in the 4x100 Girls Free Relay and in the gold in three other relay events. The team also broke two tournament time records, namely the 4x200 Boys Free Relay and the 4x50 Boys Free Relay. The season capped off as a huge success for the coaches James Hippolito, Mona Barbon, and Noel Salvador, and its two senior team captains, Ruth Manlongat and Don Almero. From the Sports Desk, this is Gina Dairet for Zoo News TV. The Philippine government reaches a breakthrough in diplomacy with rebel group MILF. More on that from Lola Cuheda. After more than four digits of conflict, the government has reached an agreement with the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, or MILF, causing the structural reform of the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao, or ARM, with the creation of a separate political entity named Bang Samoro, which guarantees self-governance of the Muslim minority in a predominantly Christian country. Although the agreement is a product of preliminary talks held in Malaysia, which agreed to broker the talks, the official signing of it will not be conducted until October 16 at Manila. Adding to this, President Aquino decided to publicize all the information regarding the agreement, quoting that the administration has no desire to keep secrets. However, despite the apparent smooth flow of negotiations, Senator Miriam Defensor raised the necessary amendments of the Constitution to accommodate the proceedings, such as the revision on presidential governance, as Banks Moro will be administered using a parliamentary form of government. But further discussions are expected. This is Log Pajeda for Zoom News TV. And that was our month in review. I am Joseph Carlo Herrera, and thank you for watching. Remember to keep in touch with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Zoom News TV.